Hey there you guys, welcome back. I wanted to give you a, uh, a little update, a plant update, uh, on a few things, uh, some of which are things that you guys have asked about. Oh, I'm so uncomfortable. Some of the things are, are things that you asked about, others I find to be really, really cool. Um, yeah, so let's just get right to it. Uh, first off, I wanted to share with you uh, my Zygopedalum. It is looking so beautiful. It's got two spikes from one growth. They're, uh, they smell so beautiful in the morning. Oh my god, they smell so good. Uh, they smell so good, actually, that uh, it gets that taste in my throat, and I feel like I need to go in the other room. They smell like hyacinths so strong uh, in the morning. Uh, they it, It's noon now for me, and uh, I can taste it. It's so strong, I can taste it. <laughs> but it's nice. In the morning... I have these uh, beside my side of the couch, uh, where I am all the time. Got my laptop, doing all my uh, my responding to uh, emails and and uh, and uh, comments and doing video stuff. Uh, so in the morning, it is it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Uh, I can have worse things around me for sure, uh, but it is quite strong. And I guess when it's only centimeters from your head, it it really it very strong. So one that's been a very, very popular one, so I thought I'd uh, show it to you. I told you that I was going to do an update on this one when I go to repot it, but I'm doing this at video, so this is the dragon fruit. It hasn't grown way, way too big, uh, but it is in a four inch pot. If I gave it more space, I'm sure it would grow a lot, a lot faster and probably a little bit more robust. It is putting out all kinds of aerial roots, as you can see there. So it's, uh, it's doing just fine. Um, I have it in a south-facing window. I think it's south. I don't know. All afternoon, it's uh, it's sunny. So uh, another one that uh, has been uh, asked about is uh, the little baby dendrobium. I think it's a dendrobium. It did nothing for a really long time, and now it's got a little growth in the center. I thought it was going to make a little offset, but no, nope, it's growing from the center. At first I thought it maybe uh, was going to be a flower spike, but it looks like it's just continuing to grow. Doing what it does. Who knows? Who knows what it will do? As long as it stays alive, I don't care. I've been uh, trying to maintain it, but sometimes you forget to water it. It happens. <laughs> when things just completely stop growing and they're just green, kind of get bored and you move on to other things. So... Another one that's been asked about is the uh, Asian pitcher, pitcher plant. Many of you think that this is uh, Nepenthes ventricosa. Uh, could be. I don't know. Came without a, a, a tag. Uh, last year, a raccoon or a bunch of raccoons were playing outside, and, and they ended up making uh, doing a number on it, uh, knocking it off the fence and, and uh, breaking bits of it off. So it's, it's come through really, really well. I have it actually in the basement here, and it, it hangs from the grow lights. So it's, uh, it's coming back. Uh, I'm very pleased with it. The pictures are, are bigger than I expected at this point. Um, I don't know what it's eating. I don't even know if there's any liquid in there. There's got to be something. Who knows? <laughs> I, can't, I can't see down in there to see if there's any liquid. Perhaps uh, rain needs to get in there too and then the digestive juices go in. I have no idea. I'm still really new to carnivorous plants. If anybody has any answers, let me know. Uh, another one that has been uh, questioned is the the um, Millennium Magic Witchcraft. Uh, I do believe Catacetum is what the uh, orchid uh, species name is. Uh, mine is doing fantastic. I've got the two. Uh, one of them is much smaller. I don't know whether you can see with all the lights. This one's much smaller. This one I actually just started watering recently. You want to wait until the, the roots are about uh, three to four inches long, maybe four to five inches long, uh, before you start watering. This one is well on its way, so you want to keep these evenly moist. You want to fertilize them. I would say uh, with a quarter or half strike fertilizer, even every time you water. Uh, they're heavy feeders. As you can imagine, they grow very, very quickly. Um, this has only been about maybe two months worth of growth, maybe even less. Uh, so as you can see, they grow fairly quickly. And with something that grows this quickly, they need food, they need nourishment. 
Uh, I haven't yet started to see pseudo bulbs uh, being uh, formed, but that will come. We got another uh, few months before uh, before flowering time. Uh, I'm anticipating flowering should start in October, maybe November. So uh, still many many months to go. Uh, so just give them time. Another one that I wanted to show you because it's very exciting is uh, my giant bamboo. It's grown a lot bigger than I thought it would in the first uh, couple of months. It is bamboo, so it does grow quickly, but I wasn't anticipating it to be uh, 10 inches tall by now. I thought that it would just uh, slowly grow and, and the seedling one would, would stay a certain size and then it would produce an offset and that offset would be a little taller. But that doesn't seem to be, be the case. They, they keep, uh, keep growing taller. I don't know how tall they'll get this season, but uh, I'm very... Excuse me, I'm very happy with the way that it's growing. I no longer have the dome on the top. No need. Uh, another one. This one uh, reminded me of Suniti. Uh, Suniti. Uh, do you remember the one that we uh, we transplanted because it was uh, root bound? And we we're having a competition. I think, I think October we need to look at them again and see who has uh, done better. Uh, but this one doesn't seem to be uh, wanting to stop flowering. The second it stopped flowering again, it uh, put out this flower spike, the, the tall one. And then I thought, hey, I might, I might be in the clear uh, for next time, but now there's another flower spike already started. I don't know what's happening with this plant. And this plant likes to be on the dry side. I find that if it's kept too moist, the roots rot. Um, and if I keep it bone dry, it seems to be the happiest. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever, Whatever it wants, I suppose. And the last one here in this uh, this group here is the uh, Cycopsis orchid. Uh, it's doing really, really, really well. Uh, this is the new spike that's flowering. Uh, this one just finished flowering. I really wanted to have the video uh, of them both out at the same time, but I actually just picked off the flower yesterday, so I was a little bit late. Uh, so I had two flowers at the same time, which was fantastic. I was all giddy. It was like a fangirl moment. <laughs> can't even deal. So uh, <laughs> we all have those mom moments with the plants. They, they excite us in strange ways. Um, so one thing that I did notice with this new leaf here, I don't know whether you can see it, but the new leaf is modeled. I don't know why the new leaf is modeled, but the old leaves don't have any modeling at all. The old leaves are just, just straight green, um, which is interesting to me because usually the modeling doesn't, uh, doesn't really go away. So I wonder what's happening here. So I'll keep you updated on this. I hope that maybe in time I'll have three spikes from this group. And also I need to transplant this at some point because uh, it's only in a, a four inch pot. Perhaps uh, later on I'll, uh, I'll do a transplant into a five inch pot. Uh, I'm sure it will like that a lot better. But it's, it's growing just fine. I've Actually I've never even opened up, uh, pulled it out of the pot. So I don't even know what the roots look like. But it seems to be growing just fine. I uh, don't really have anything else that uh, needs to be uh, shared at the moment. The, uh, the grow space is, uh, is emptying out as you can see uh, because I'm taking it outside. Uh, there's still some more things that need to be taken outside like some agaves and the amaryllis are going to go outside for their, uh, for their summer grow through. Uh, yeah. I actually have another zygopetalum uh, that's that's uh, in spike right now as well, but it's not. Uh, it hasn't produced any flower flowers yet. It's producing buds, no flowers. But this one by far is the most impressive one. Another another uh, fun thing that I thought of when I looked at this. It's like they're they're having a game. They're like a little bunch of monkeys on a on a branch. Some of them are facing upside down. Some of them are, are right side up. Like a phalaenopsis, they'll all kind of adjust themselves as they're opening and they're all facing the same direction. These guys are all over the place. They're having a good time. Uh, so anyway, hope you enjoyed this update. Show me some uh, pictures of your stuff. Uh, come join us on the Plants and Things What's Growing page. I'd love to see what you're growing. Uh, there's some beautiful, beautiful things going on out there. Uh, I'm so jealous of, of every single one of you because you all have things that I don't have and I wish I did. I'm sure that the feeling is mutual. I'm sure that you want some of my things, but uh, that's the fun of it. We can we can grow them together. 
Uh, we can all experience it, have a lot of fun, talk about it, laugh about it. Um, uh, I have no more to say. I don't even know. Ending these videos is really, really hard sometimes. Uh, so anyway, happy growing, everyone. And until next time, stay tuned for more updates. Tony offs this orchid to, uh, to get chopped down. All of the old flowers are done. So I thought we would take a moment and uh, I'll show you how I'm going to cut off the 